This is an introduction to the free online electrical troubleshooting training simulation browser based game app. Designed for the Chrome browser, it works great with Internet Explorer browsers too. So it works on most tablets. some smartphones and even 4K large screen internet enabled TVs. Follow the link in the comments section of the video to experience this electrical training tool for yourself and tell your friends. Likes appreciated too. The electrical simulator even includes environmental and intermittent simulated electrical faults. An introduction to the electrical troubleshooting simulator. There is a help button on the right side for more details. Just scroll down on the help page for examples and learn that there are three simulator modes in the free online version. Explorer, Skill Test, and Bonus Mode. Once the user has earned their way to the bonus mode, it unlocks the ability to toggle between the other two modes. The troubleshooting simulator screen is divided into three sections. On the right side of the screen is the system terminal and user controls. The middle section is the circuit the user will be working with. The left section has a notepad and test equipment. There's also a lockout button to the right of the notepad. The system terminal gives the user important instructions needed for the user to work their way through six explorer steps, then five skill tests, all the way to the bonus mode. Additionally, there is an option to show the task required for the current step. Under the system terminal, there are links to the full certificate course and other related training. Below the links is the electrical diagram button. Once opened, the user can drag the diagram around. Below that is the next step button. 
The user clicks the button once when they have completed the task for the current step. To the right of the buttons is the Minutes Exploring Indicator. The user gets 20 extra points for exploring at least 10 minutes. The center section displays a simple circuit with just on and off buttons. When on, relay LED lights up and the left light energizes. When the off button is pressed, the relay de-energizes and the right light turns on. There is a fuse and terminal block in the circuit too. The left section has a notepad where the users can enter their own troubleshooting notes and save. Also, when you click the lockout tagout Lotto Clasp, the notepad will display the six interactive Lotto steps. Hovering over a step, like every other area of the simulator, will display extra help with the item they're hovering over. Once the user completes the six Lotto steps the first time, the user is asked to enter tagout information. Once tagged out, the user can right click, double click, or press and hold on the device for three seconds to make the options menu appear. The options are to replace device or tighten screws. To toggle the lockout mode to off, click lockout clasp again. This removes the lockout. Notice on the minutes exploring indicator that the user has spent six minutes so far, so they've accumulated 12 points. And it's indicated on the progress battery indicator. In explorer mode, Step 1 on the system terminal asks the user to drag the black lead to the ground. It's best to grab the lead by the gripper. The user is asked to drag the red lead to the one of the fuse terminals. Afterwards, in the step status area, the user sees that all of the tasks for step 1 have been completed. Next, the user will click the next step button and the system terminal will congratulate the user and then display the instructions for the next step. Another option available to the user is to show all available meter lead test spots. There's also a progress report the user can toggle on and off. It will show the current mode, with other modes grayed out, and show steps completed for each mode. Notice the meter uses a realistic voltage, taking into consideration voltage drops. The meter has an off button used to quickly retract both leads. Another option to send a lead back to its resting place is to drag the lead to a place that is not any meter lead test spots. Then drag it again to a non-test spot and it will retract. That's the end of the quick start intro to the free online electrical troubleshooting simulator. Have fun! Follow the link in the comment section of the video to experience this electrical training tool for yourself and tell your friends. Likes appreciated too.